the clock the clock and ancient science have you ever wondered why we have three hands to tell the time of day have you ever wondered why we make it so difficult for children to learn the time with the clock three hands for the time of day this is supposed to be a primitive device pull the other one let's have a look at the true meaning of the clock and its true use to science its great value the clock now obviously the clock is about time not about space so that's going to be the first issue the first problem that will arise in your understanding is the confusion and differentiation between time and space the clock is about time you'll see what I mean in a moment the next thing to understand is the clock is an energy dial it goes from minimum to maximum minimum to maximum it's an energy dial obviously we must look at the origins of the clock and get to know it in, an, in its simplest detail so for a start we have the little hand there's the little hand right now the little hand should take the little hand represents the sun and should take one year to go around one year to go around and each day is one degree you know we'll just forget about the other five days for the moment we're, we're, we're on a counting system that's the next thing to understand this is about time and it's about counting it's about counting not measuring it's about counting so we start off so the second hand the, the minute hand is the moon hand so when the sun goes round once the moon has gone round 12 sometimes 13 times now the, the sun is at its coldest you know at the beginning of the February in the North, northern hemisphere and this marks the lunar new year so this position is the new moon a new lunar new year Chinese new year beginning of February end of March Chinese new year now why it's about 60 minutes Ah, there are 60 periods of dark and light in a moon maximum usually probably 59 but we can do 360 we can do 60 we've got the basic mechanism of clockwork this is the clock it is the iron plate divine number system the secret number system that was kept secret by being stuck up in a public place its meaning and its use the iron plate divine number system so 
remember from your Bible, the evening and the morning were the first day. So there we have the evening, which is the first minute, what we call, and the second minute, morning. So the evening and the morning, so that's the first day, so you've got 30 times 2, 60 periods of dark and light in the month to go around. And then you've got the second day, the evening and the morning. The third day, evening and morning. Then when you get around to here, you get to the first quarter of the moon. So you see straight away, none of this madness with three hands telling us the time of day. This is a very useful device. It's a very useful device for telling us, if you like, the variation in the energy levels, you know, if you like, the angular velocities, the angular momentum of the sun, the moon, and the earth, which we'll come on to in a moment with the third hand, which we call the second hand. So here we've reached the first quarter. And there we've reached the full moon. See the energy level, the new moon, the first quarter, the full moon. So there we have the basic division into the four. So for the sun, it's spring, summer, autumn, winter. These are the four beats of common time the movement of the wheel. So, first quarter, the full moon, when the moon's at its full energy level, at full moon, and then you've got the last quarter, and then you've got the next new moon, the new moon in Pisces. I use the astrology terms, which I'll come on to, but we should only think of that as, you know, a, a background, a background. Actually, it's, you know, deeper than that, because we're projecting something onto these movements from our yearly cycle. And from these energy levels, and changes over the year from the winter to the summer and from new moon to full moon and from the rotation of the earth from dawn to dusk which I suppose you should cover now which is the, the, the in what we call the second hand which is the third hand and this According to acupuncture theory, starts in the opposite direction at 3 a.m. 3 a.m. in the morning, when the energy enters the lungs, and then it comes on to 3 o'clock in the afternoon, when the, when the day begins, when the sun begins at 3 o'clock in the mor in the afternoon, when the evening begins. So the morning goes on until 3 o'clock in the afternoon, local time, you know, for that quarter past the zenith, past midday, 3 o'clock. So at 3 o'clock, the day begins, and the earth rotate around once in a single day, so that's 12 hours, so it takes two hours to go through 30 degrees. Again, we'll come on to that because it's very important. So you get the movement, so you get the new uh, first quarter, and then you get the full moon, so that the sun is in Pisces 
and the moon is full. So this is a full moon with the sun in Pisces in March, the full moon in March. But in primitive times, you know, the, the full the festivals would have been held at the full moon. Eventually, this is what will happen again. We will reinstate the full moon festivals. And then we'll come on to those. And then we get the last quarter, and then we get the the uh, new moon uh, going into Aries. So this is how the clock works. Evening is like if you were in a prison, had no time, no idea, and you couldn't just put a mark on for the day or night. You'd have to put them on alternately to make sure you didn't reproduce a, a mark. Otherwise, you could put a mark on and think, "Well, I've got to put a mark on." But if you put one down for the dark, and then one down for the light, one for the dark, and one for the light, you count round. And then as you count round, you know, so you know where you are on the lunar cycle through the clock. Now the clock obviously goes deeper. That's the basic structure. Now these, you know, objects, the sun, the moon and the earth are massive objects moving at incredible speeds. So they have a profound effect on our, if you like, our evolution or our metabolism or our electromagnetism on our nature in what we get used to in what we take for granted is these great forces it's spinning round and so we must look at these forces to see their influence upon us and adapt to them follow them So the sun takes a year to go around, one day to do one degree, the evening and the morning. The sun rules thinking. <laughs> so in the evening, you should think what you're going to do in the morning. In the evening, you think what you're going to do the following morning. Just stick to that. And in the morning, do it. Now the moon, the moon goes through one degree in two hours. It takes 12 hours to go through a period of dark or light. So it takes two hours to go through one degree. So the basic unit of our experience from the moon emotionally is in two hour sessions, we'll call them. A two hour session, you know, a, a double lesson, you know, a, a theater play, an album or a double album a film, two hours, two hours, the basic unit of our emotional life for every degree. So should we deal with life in those two hour emotional sessions and ideally fit in with local time? Three to five, five to seven, seven to nine, nine to eleven, eleven to one, one to three. Obviously, it confuses things like with British summer time and with different time zones and this sort of thing. But it's best to work out local time to the minute if you want to be.
accurate. <laughs> but the main thing to understand is that we all understand that too, how an emotional period, you know, as I said, the album, the movie, in two hours. Now, the Earth takes four minutes to go through one degree. Four minutes. Very interesting, four minutes. So four minutes is a moment, a moment of the Earth, a moment of time of the movement of the Earth through one degree. Four minutes. In four minutes, we could run a mile, boil an egg, brew a cup of tea, make a phone call. That was originally four minutes, a long time ago, when the machine started four minute phone call, four minute for a, a single track, a long time ago, um, yeah, four minute to boil an egg, four minute to make tea, four minute to run a mile, quite a few things, I can't remember, anyway, that's, so that's the basic unit of our lives, four minutes, not some instantaneous madness. See, what they want us to believe is we need three hands to tell us the time of day, and everything is 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 is, is, is cut in nanoseconds. So you know we're instantaneous, and we've got to try and organise that. No, no, let's take it easy. We've got three hands to the clock. One takes a year to go around. One takes a month to go around. One takes a day to go around and tells us the time of day with one hand. The day is divided up into moments, four minute moments. The moon is divided up into two hour sessions, which should be, which the Chinese call she, a she, a double hour, a she, or and the French say her. Do you see the, the feminine, the she, or the her, that, the, the hour, the feminine, the moon goddess, the diana of love. So, we've got the, the moons and we've got the 12 moons. And so obviously we've got, an indi we've got different energy balances for those 12 moons. Always remember, new moon pointing up. Don't get mixed up with space where the new moon, the, the moon and the sun are together. On the clock, the O clock, the O is a moon, not of the clock. It's a moon. It's four of the moon clock. This is the moon clock. So then we have 12 moons and those moons are different energy balances. And over time, those energy balances have developed into the different organs of our bodies and we project that onto the stars and we call it astrology which I will now show you so there we are here we are here are the, the 12 moons, the 12 moons, which as I say are the 12 organs of the body and these are projected onto the stars as the basis of astrology. Now the first one we start off, Aquarius, the water carrier, which is the bladder. And these two wavy lines represent the piss, the, the urine, spi represent the spiralling urine, spiralling water. It's a drawing of the piss. So the animal is the monkeys who take the piss. Next we come on to Pisces. And Pisces 
This is the symbol for Pisces. You know, so there, to understand this symbol for Pisces, you see that this is the waist, and there is the line pointing out where the two lines intersect. The corner of the outside the waist is where the kidneys are. This point shows that these two points are crossing where the kidneys are. So this is simple drawing showing the waist, the kidneys. The, the Aquarius is yang water. You know, it's yang water. It's energy focused water. Pisces are yin water. It's the filtration, the purification. Yin water. And the animal is the chicken. Or the, or, or the fish for Pisces is a chicken. It's like a shoal animal or a flock animal, but so very, very strong sense of solidarity. Then we come on to Aries. Now, what they do is they take this Aries and they say, oh, this is the two horns of a ram. Well, not quite. This is an ejaculation. This is an ejaculation. And this relates to the, to the sexual energy, the heat energy in the body. So this is yang heat. This is that was yang water. This is yang heat. And the animal is the dog. So the dog, the ram, the sexual energy, the ejaculation, circulation sex. Here we have Taurus. Again, it's called Taurus. Well, we, in the West, they call it Taurus because they see the bull and they see obviously a head and the, the horns of the bull. But actually, this is the triple warmer. This is yin heat. So it's about body warmth. It's Taurus, the triple warmer. In the animal, it's the pig, you know, self indulgent, but, you know, comfort. But to understand the symbol, You've got to see that the triple warmer is the abdomen, the thorax and the head. And there you are, you're in your head looking down and there's your thorax and there's your abdomen. Do you get it? Look down, there's your thorax and there's the abdomen. So you mean just a drawing of the body, same as that the Pisces was a drawing of the body. So the Taurus is a drawing of the body again. And we come on to the wood, the wood signs. Now, this is Gemini. Now, really, we should show, you know, like a, um, a, a gallbladder, like the head of a pup, puppy, the gallbladder, the gallbladder is for making decisions. Gallbladder is about making decisions. That is yang wood. It's making decisions. Right or left. In the animals it's the rat. It's like a rat in a maze. Right or left. It's like the root has got to go right or left round the stone. It's decisions. That's the yang wood. The vitality, the force of it growing. You know, the force of it growing, the yang, yang wood, the decision, the decisiveness, the gallbladder. Then we come on to yin wood, yin wood, which is the liver. And these are the two lobes of the liver, two lobes of the liver, yin wood. Sorry, that's, that was the rat. Now we come on to the yin wood, and the yin wood is is the, the the cow or the ox, probably not Taurus. Taurus is the pig. Cancer is not a crab. Uh, cancer is the liver. Is a cow, an ox in its territory, in its field. So. That's when they said they're domesticated. They take over their field, they have their territory, their home territory, their space. 
and then we come on to metal yang metal is the lungs you know the power the strength of the voice in the lungs the rhythm the which is leo obviously we get mixed up with leo and the lion heart and this but no leo is the lungs the voice Obviously, we have it as the lion as well, or the cat. And then we have yin metal, which is the large intestine, which is about regularity. Yin, and yin metal is about worth, the value, going you know, into the value, actually into the character. What's he, she, or it worth? What's it worth? But obviously, being the large intestine and being the rea um, regularity, and this is to do with toilet training. And so, this feelings of being dirty and, and worthlessness, and this is why it affects Virgo, you know, badly. The two ways: the yin, the yin metal, about worth. Yeah, am I worthy? Am I worth it? This is the rabbit. Or more correctly, the hair, the lily, the lily, Virgo, yin metal, and then we have Libra, which is Yang, Earth. So Yang, Earth. What Yang about Earth is mass which we think of as weight, so it's a balance, a scale, but actually, so we look at this approximate sign, but if we rotate the approximate sign that way, and we see what it is, that is that's the, the stomach, the belly sticking out, the stomach, so Libra is the stomach, it's the dragon, it's about digest, digest digesting, thinking through, weighing up the pros and cons, analysing, Libra. The dragon. Yang Earth. Now Yin Earth. Scorpio. Scorpion. The insects. The spiders. is the spleen accumulation and distribution the, the spleen fills up with blood and, and then you get hungry and then when you eat it squeezes out the blood to absorb all the food Scorpio, Yin, Earth and then you've got Sagittarius which is a heart Sagittarius is the heart it should be a heart with an arrow through it, Cupid's arrow but it's actually the glance of the eyes. It's actually, you know, that look in the eyes, that glance of the eyes, you know, giving the eye. That's Sagittarius. The glance in the eyes, seeing. The horse. The heart. And that is Yang light. Yang light. Now, Yin light is the small intestine which is you know, about uh, purity 100% purity superiority in its selection choosing quality this is, this is uh, Capricorn the sheep or the goats separating the sheep from the goats the quality separating the good quality so these symbols are an ancient anatomy and the basis of acupuncture and if you like are being projected onto the screen of the universe to be the signs of the zodiac. <laughs>